Okay, so right now I have my slide loaded onto my microscope and I'm gonna go through the process of focusing it for you guys. So right now, I'm gonna take it all the way up. So my stage was all the way down so I can put the slide on. Bringing it all the way up. And I'm gonna slowly go down till I get it as in focus as it's gonna go. And I think that's right about there for this one. Adjust my diaphragm a little, no, that made it darker. We'll go with that. Okay, so that's my red. That's my um, least amount of magnification that I can do on this microscope. So I'm gonna switch now to yellow. We should see a few more details. Okay, so now we're starting to see some cells. I'm gonna use my fine focus. Get it as close as I can. It's a little blurry because I'm looking through the screen. Okay, but you should start to see some little cell walls right through here, all of these different ridges. These are cell walls. We're seeing some chloroplasts, these dark things, okay, inside the cells. All right, I'm going to go now to my blue, which is my longest objective lens. Okay, I'm going to use my fine focus. And here we are seeing the actual cells of the elodia leaf. Okay, so each one of these little walls here is a cell wall for this cell. So notice how very rectangular they are. They all fit together like bricks in a wall. All right, I'm going to change the focus a little bit, and you'll see different things as I do that. Okay, still changing the focus. So we can actually, by changing the focus, see the different layers of cells. So here's this layer. If I go back to where I was, you can see that layer. So we can actually see different layers of cells by zooming in and out a little bit. All right, and to zoom in and out, we're just changing, remember, the distance between the stage and the lens using the fine focus knob. So again, here we can see those really distinct cell walls that define this as being a plant cell. So they all fit together neatly and perfectly, and that's what makes them a plant cell. All right, so on the next few slides after this, you should um, take some time and draw what you are seeing, all right, so that you have an example of plant cells, because this is a really great example of how neatly plant cells fit together, all right, and how rigid their structures are because of those cell walls that you're seeing there. All right, so again, here's one view. Just changing the view some. There's some more cell walls. You're kind of seeing the top of them. And then as we go down and through them, we can see another layer underneath. Okay, so those are our plant cells for our elodia leaf.